Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, if you saw my last video and or if you've seen the thumbnail, which I imagine you have, then uh, you know what's going to happen in this video. I bought another drift car. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this one is a 2000 uh, Mustang V6, just like the other one. Uh, the only thing is that this one is drift ready and she has been used. Um, these wheels, you might recognize them, are from the other Mustang. I already, you know, put them on because uh, I took off the wheels that came with the car because they were 17s. Uh, but yeah, I mean, let me run down some of the mods on this thing. It's got an angle kit on the front. I don't know what company. I don't think it's Scotty D because I looked at it and it doesn't look like the Scotty D kit. Uh, it's got two inch spacers all the way around. So she's a wide girl now. Um, she's got these fender flares on the front. And yeah, aesthetically, um, the car, you know, is not in the greatest shape. It's got a couple dents, a couple dings. Um, not every body line is beautiful and perfect. Um, but, you know, she runs beautifully, and that's what matters. And it's drift ready, which is really what matters, because I got a really good deal on this car. So, yeah, uh, let me show you guys the inside of this thing. So on the interior, we've got two Corbo seats. The driver's seat is a fixed seat and uh, the passenger seat is reclinable. We've got Simpson five-point harnesses on both seats. Um, I already adjusted the harnesses to myself, which I'm pretty stoked on. It was cool kind of uh, getting a chance to feel this harness system in a car that I own. Um, nice aftermarket wheel, I'm not sure what company. Um, NRG quick release, which this I'm not a big fan of. I've got an NRG quick release on the other car, but it's like a different kind of system. I prefer the other one. but. Uh, yeah, this car originally was an automatic. You can tell from the center that they did a manual swap, which uh, makes a lot of the gauges in the cluster not really work, so that's fun. But yeah, other than that, I mean, she's completely gutted. Um, got the harness bar back there, and the car has neon on the inside and the out. Mind you, I know it's not neon or LEDs, but whatever. I'm used to calling it neon. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super stoked to have a car with lights on it. I've always thought that would be super cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the interior. Oh, it's got that fire bottle, which is nice because OSW made a, a big fit about me not having a fire bottle last time, so pre-installed. And now moving on to under the hood. As you can see, it's pretty much the same as the uh, original car, you know, just kind of a bolt-on V6. Got a cold air intake. Uh, looks like he did plug wires, so I imagine he did spark plugs at some point. Alternator looks relatively new. Um, looks like it might have some aftermarket headers. Um, and then the exhaust just dumps right after the mufflers in the back. There's no tailpipe, so this car is pretty loud. And uh, you can see it's got BC Rich, or uh, sorry, BC Rich, BC Racing coilovers. Um, if you can tell, I'm a guitar guy as well. But uh, <laughs> yeah, all right, uh, in that case, let's see how this thing sounds, speaking of which. guys uh, it's the next day I ran out of memory on my phone <laughs> from that last clip um, I ended up taking the car to Vic actually his house uh, from Miami Vice Wraps and he's working on the car right now so sorry I kind of have to bring you guys up to speed so rapidly but we're gonna continue on because uh, I need to work on the car so yeah the next thing I'm gonna be doing is I need to load my toolbox into the car uh, the Highlander so that I can go ahead and be able to work from Vic's house um, I need to raise the front suspension on that car. I need to try and install the handbrake. So there's a couple of things I want to do before the event uh, happens. So yeah, let's go ahead and load the stuff up and uh, head over to Vic's house. Alrighty guys, we got everything loaded up and we're on our way to Vic's house. Um, yesterday when I went to Vic's house, I actually got a clip, well, he got a clip from the passenger seat of me doing a little figure eight uh, near his house. So uh, I'll go ahead and put that in now, but uh, uh, be forewarned, it's in, uh, portrait mode so sorry <laughs> you're good bro Yeah, 
All right, guys, we're here at Vic's house. Uh, we've got the car in the garage. Uh, Vic is working on his car, too. He's got music running, so I don't really want to record too much in there lest I get copyrighted by the YouTube beast. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and jack up the car, take off the front wheels, and the goal today is just to adjust the front suspension because the front suspension on the car is too low and it rubs whenever I turn. So we're going to try and lift it up like an inch. So let's get to it. All right, guys, check it out. As you can see, uh, the car is kind of uh, already mostly unwrapped, but I went ahead and adjusted the front suspension. So now we've got like, well, the way I've been doing it is a finger and some all the way around, and I've gotten it equal all the way around. So you can see finger, a little bit of movement, finger, a little bit of movement all the way around. So pretty happy with that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting everything away, call it for the night, and uh, I'll be back here probably tomorrow, if not like Monday. But uh, we'll keep the video going until I've got like 10 minutes of content. We'll see where we're at. But yeah, see you next time I'm here. Hand transition. Alrighty guys, uh, it's the next day actually. I'm here in the garage because there is a couple things I actually need to take from Maria, the original drift car. So the first thing is I need to get this side scoop right here because the new car, which by the way, his name is Ratchet, um, we need, Ratchet needs this side piece right here and uh, yeah, Maria has it and does not need it so we're going to be taking it. The other thing is I need the handbrake bracket and the handbrake itself and the cables, you know, all this whole assembly from Maria to put onto Ratchet and then I actually need to take the, uh, the handbrake calipers off of Velma, which I don't know if I've mentioned that before, this car's name is Velma. Um, don't judge the car's names, all right? I do what I want. But yeah, I need to steal the calipers off of this car, so I need to put the front end on the ground so I can lift up the rear end. And to do that, I need to put some 17s or 18s, whatever stock wheels that came with uh, Ratchet. So I've got a couple things I gotta do. So, and then once I'm done with all that, I'm gonna take all this stuff over to Vic so that he has it. Um, and so that I can try and install the handbrake on Ratchet over the next week while he's wrapping it. So, yeah, let's get on with it, I guess. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna try and get that scoop off of the side of Maria, so let's try that. All right, guys, I got it. And it was relatively easy, and I was able to save all of the clips, which I'm pretty stoked on, so the, it's gonna hold on real nice on the uh, other car. So, yeah, step one complete, I got this. Now the next thing is, I guess we're gonna have to take out the handbrake. I'm gonna see if I can do it without having to lift up the car, but I probably will. Let's see. All right guys, check it out. Uh, that was extremely easy, to be honest. Um, turns out I used a stock nut cert that was right here, and uh, I was just able to pull the bolt out. And then this side, um, I don't see a nut cert there, so I'm pretty sure there's a nut that must have fallen out. I just didn't hear it, but uh, I should be able to fish it out from under there without lifting the car, so pretty stoked about that. As you can see, I've got the whole assembly over here on my garbage can, which is uh, basically my handy-dandy shop table. Old, reliable. But yeah, I even got, uh, what is this? I forget what you call this, but the tape that, uh, you know, make sure that you don't have any leaks on uh, hydraulic systems and pneumatic systems, stuff like that. So that's that. Now I just got to get the calipers off of this car, which means putting wheels on the front, dropping it, lifting this side. Yeah, it's its own little mission, but let's get to it. So, alrighty guys, and just like that, the Mustang is on the ground and uh, officially has the rear end and front end swapped from Maria, which is, you know, kind of cool. One of the original milestones that I had with this car, or at least one of the goals, you know, it's been up on jack stands for a while. But yeah, you know, the crazy part is now that it's on the ground and uh, having, you know, seen Ratchet's alignment and uh, having driven with Ratchet's alignment, this, this might be fine, to be honest, like the amount of toe out that I have. So we'll see. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, jack up the rear of the car so that I can take off the rear wheels and get those calipers that I need. Okay, got the rear wheel off here on the passenger side. Now it's just two bolts to undo this caliper and uh, yeah, then we can do the same thing on the other side. Okay, as you can see, I took them off on the passenger side and the driver's side already. Um, I've got the car on jack stands because I don't have extra wheels to put on there, but yep, here are the calipers that I needed. Um, there's the handbrake, the reservoir, oh God, the bracket, 
Um, I'm going to take these lug nuts and put them on a uh, ratchet because he's got silver lugs in the front right now and I prefer the black, so I'm going to take those. Uh, yep, the lines. I need to take those wheels to get uh, those tires put on them sometime this week. Uh, but yeah, now I just have to load everything up in the car and uh, make my way over to Vic. Um, I don't think I'm going to make it before the sun goes down because uh, I think I'm going to eat dinner first, but I'll see what happens. All right, guys, we made it to Vic's. Um, honestly, it looks crazy seeing the car like this, especially because I was just starting to get used to it in white with like the flares on it and everything and starting to like identify with it being my car. And now it's just completely black with the fender flares off of it. Like it still looks cool, right? And it's like awesome that it's mine, but it's like I almost don't identify with it being my car. I'm hoping once it's a little bit more orange, <laughs> the way God intended. Um, I'll if, identify with the car a little bit more, but yeah. Let's go ahead and bring everything down from the car. I don't think I'm gonna work on it tonight. I'm just gonna bring everything down and have it ready for me to like come back on Monday because um, I wanna finish the video tonight. So yeah, let's bring everything down. Check it out guys, I've got my little uh, stack of all my stuff. See the handbrake, the caliper expansion tool, my toolbox, my jack, uh, the two calipers. The only thing is I just noticed I'm missing jack stands. I didn't bring any jack stands. And uh, what was the other thing? And whatever, I'm sure I'll figure it out. But uh, yeah guys, this is the last time you'll see the car this color, hopefully. Looks like Vic is about to start uh, wrapping it here soon. But yeah guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, next video is gonna be obviously prepping this thing for the next drift event I'm going to which is U.S. Drift Circuit here in Sebring, Florida, August 26th and 27th. That's next weekend. So I've uh, got a decent amount of work to do, not that much, but uh, I'm definitely excited to get back behind the wheel and uh, start getting some seat time. So thanks again for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.